Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they want and deserve by helping them implement simple tips and strategies so they can create that relationship. Now today we will be focusing on why, it's, why it is important for physical touch, but specifically hugs and how it helps your relationships. We will talk about it right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So again, today we're going to talk about how hugging helps your relationship. Now, let me just preface this and say that I am totally open and I know that everybody does just, you don't like to be touched. Not everybody. However, um, I want to at least sway some of you guys so you can at least... Um, understand why hugging is important and also especially if you get in a relationship where um your partner's love language is physical touch hugging cuddling all of that is a portion of it and so it's not that you can't learn to love it you can definitely learn to love it but i understand that this is not something that is innate something that is natural for you but you'll definitely you'll, you'll love doing it once you start doing it um and I know this to be true. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump in why and how hugging helps your relationship. The very first thing that you should be thinking about is that hugging is actually a universal language. Uh, all of us can speak a different tongue. And if I reach out to give you a hug, and you know, come on in here and get this embrace. And even when I meet people, especially when I'm at my speaking events or um, if I meet my clients in person, they all know that I'm a hugger. And sometimes, especially if it's somebody new, I'll tell her, they, they try to give me their hand and I'm like, hey, I'm a hugger. And, and most of the time they be like, oh, I love hugs too. And so then you get that embrace. But um, I know that I'm specifically talking about in your uh, romantic relationship, but still just hugging people is a universal language. And most of us, I get it again, those people that do not like to be touched. I totally get that. However, once you get past or, um, understand the type of person that you are dealing with and especially in a relationship with them, bruh or sis, you will have to get over not being touched. And I do know that it is different once you get into a relationship, but I just want to put that out there anyway. Okay. The second reason why hugs are wonderful is because they make you feel oh so good. You feel good about yourself and um, you're like, oh yeah, that, that actually felt good. It actually releases some of the tension. Actually, that's point number three because it does help to relieve some of that stress, some of that tension, and um, it just, again, it makes you feel good. And so the stress is kind of going away. If you're sitting up tight or just holding, bottling things up, then once you... Once you finish that hug or the, complete the hug, it's something about it that just makes you relax. That stress is no longer there. You are relaxing a whole lot more once that hug has come into play. Okay? It has actually been proven through research that hugs actually decrease the chances of you getting sick or ill. And if you are the person who gets sick or ill, your symptoms will be less than they would be if you were not receiving hugs. So hugs actually make you a healthier person. The fifth thing that hugs do is actually they make you feel good. I already mentioned that, but they make you feel good because they are releasing oxytocin, which is the feel-good hormone. And that's the whole reason why hugs feel good is because it's releasing that hormone oxytocin that makes you feel good. Makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> makes you feel... It makes you feel easy and relaxed and, and wanted. You know what I mean? It makes you feel all of those feel-good thoughts and feelings in that moment that you're receiving that hug. And a lot of times because we are in a society, especially in especially in the Western world, we kind of like, <laughs> don't be touching me or whatever. And, and in a lot of other countries, that is just, oh, they just come in for it. It doesn't matter. They're, you know, it's not the homophobic thing and all of this other stuff. They just come in for the hug. And I love to see men hugging men and women hugging women. And, you know, women, we just kind of do it anyway. But I really love to see when other men are hugging each other. And there's no homophobic anything. It's just, damn it, give me a hug. I miss you, my bruh. I miss seeing you. And so we really need to adopt that a lot more here in the Western country. And, and like, don't be put off when somebody tries to touch you. I get it about the personal space and all that stuff, so don't get me wrong. So I get all of that. However, comma, okay, just, just relax. 
get that. Get that. Because a lot of times, we didn't receive it as much as we as much as we needed to receive it at the household, we probably didn't receive it as much. And not to say that our parents are bad or anything, they just had other things going on, like making sure that you ate, making sure that you clean, making sure that your hair is done, making sure that your homework is done. And so hugging wasn't part of the curriculum, okay? You get what I'm saying? So as much as possible, if you can hug, you will absolutely feel a lot better about the moment, about yourself, about the person who's actually embracing you. There's a lot, 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 lots of benefits. Okay, let's move on to the next benefit. Number six, research has actually shown that hugs reduce your blood pressure as well. So get as many hugs if you've got that blood pressure thing going on. Get some more hugs to bring that down. Number seven, hugs create emotional attachments, especially with your loved one, your partner, your, your spouse. Get as many hugs as you can, okay? Create that emotional attachment. This is just something about you coming in and just, uh, that sigh, that deep breath. It's, it's something about it. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel loved. I mean, there, there are just so many benefits to hugging within your relationship. So do it more often. The eighth and final reason why hugs help your relationship is because hugs can say way more than anything verbal that comes out of your mouth. On top of that, we actually communicate a lot more through nonverbal communication versus verbal communication. So giving a person a hug, you are saying way more to them than you trying to express it verbally. All right, fam, so I'm actually going to end this video with reading you um, some research about hugs and how it helps. So um, how many hugs do we actually need? Because I keep saying getting hugs, right? So how many do you need in order to feel all of these wonderful health benefits, right? Okay, so family therapist Virginia uh, Satir once said, we need four hugs a day for survival. We need eight hugs a day for maintenance, and we need 12 hugs a day for growth. While that may sound like a lot of hugs, it seems that many hugs are better than not enough. So just getting some hugs is better than not hugging at all. So how many hugs should you have a day for optimal health? According to the best science, we should have as many as possible if we want to reap the greatest positive effects. Unfortunately, most Western people today, especially people in the U.S., are touch deprived. Many people live um, solitary, solitary or busy lives with reduced social interaction and touching. Our modern uh, social con conventions, I can't even read today, our modern social conventions often push people not to touch others who aren't directly related to them. However, it seems people could benefit a lot from touching others a bit more. So if you want to feel better about yourself, reduce your stress, improve communication, and be happier and healthier, it seems that giving and asking for mugs more hugs is a good place to start. So ask for some more. Don't matter. Um, if you feel nervous about seeking out more hugs, start asking by start I start by asking for them from friends, family members, and um, those people that are closest to you. Science proves that regular hugs with those closest to you, even if brief, can have especially positive effects on your brain and your body. So get as many hugs as you can from your boo. I, I often like to pull in my little baby and I'm like, oh, mama missed you today and come give me a hug. And of course, she'd be soaking it up. Sometimes she'd be trying to act like she don't want them because she'd be acting like a, yeah. Anyway, but uh, <laughs> so yes, get as many hugs as you can as possible to increase uh, or I should say decrease your stress levels, increase your happiness, increase all of your health health issues that you are having. Giving hugs can actually help with a lot of those things. So I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. To Vixen Loop.